as you can see, I'm out in public among other people during the apex of the coronavirus, but I have a good excuse. I did not even feel that. All right, fine, I did feel it, but it was nothing compared to the feeling that I'm helping to save someone's life during a time when the American Red Cross is in dire straits. The coronavirus has canceled thousands of blood drives. No American battling a chronic illness or undergoing life-saving surgery should ever have to worry about whether there is enough supply of blood. When we look back on this dark period of time after most of humanity survives, we are not, we are not, I repeat, we are not going to just remember the canceled weddings and fear and hopelessness. We are going to remember what we did during this time to rage against the virus. We are going to focus on what we had control over and what could not be stolen from us by the pandemic. I am on the autism spectrum and wish to say something to my peers and anybody else who also struggles with their demons late at night. Much of my life was spent being called names such as weird, sketchy Jesse, creepy, loser, and many other horrific things. Even during these times of anguish and emasculation, I could always donate blood and feel better because of knowing that someone's life had been saved. And I had something to do with it. The habit of donating blood during the coronavirus crisis is continuing to sustain my spirits as it has in the past. For the first time in modern history, every American is actively fighting in a war taking place right outside our windows. Whether we are on the front lines as healthcare workers in the emergency room, caring for affected family members, or locking ourselves at home away from physical human contact, we are all battling the same enemy while suffering in our own way. But we are at war with an insidious virus created by biological evolution, not with each other and certainly not with scapegoats who had nothing to do with what is happening among humankind. I wish you all continued safety as we allow the coronavirus to roam aimlessly throughout humanity until it dies its inevitable death. We will see each other soon enough.